Hey there, my name is Colton Normore, and my partner, Yan Liu, and I have spent the last couple of months working on this, a, uh, a project that would allow a person to control their web browser by just putting up their hand. And uh, based on the number of fingers that you held, have held up, and the angle at which those fingers were held up, it would generate commands and send them to a web browser so you can scroll around or whatever. So, uh, let's get right into it, I guess. Uh, the first part is actually a separate part. Let me just close down this for a second. So, the thing about our, our system is that we have to calibrate our system every time that we want to do a live demo. And it's because we're doing all of our tracking based on finding a particular color of blue. So we, uh, we do all of our tracking, like I said, based on blue gloves. Um, and this is because detecting human skin is actually kind of a hard task. It's not impossible to do, but it was much easier to just start working with a blue glove, and we never got around to trying to fix it for working with human skin after. We did some initial tests with human skin, but um, they were too variable. The, the background right now totally messed the, uh, the detection up, for example. So, um, we used this tool to find a, this particular color of blue. And to do that, we just kind of move these sliders around until we have thresholded out every single other color in the skin that isn't within this particular range of blue for the blue glove. So you can see we're getting closer now. And there we have it. A nice range of blue. So once we have this binary image of, hand, or of a hand, we're able to start processing it and to do some fun stuff. This is where the fun begins. So, I'm just going to close out of this program. Move back to our other part. This is the real backbone of our project, the gesture server. So this is run alongside of our extension that we made in Chrome. And it'll detect the number of fingers that you have held up for the most part. I mean, it's a little bit fluttery in, a lot of, in some cases, but for the most part, it works pretty well. Um, and it'll generate commands based upon how many fingers that you're holding, or be having how many fingers you have held up. The commands are, that are generated are displayed in this command prompt up here. And if there was anything connected to this web server that we've made, it would send those commands out and uh, the browser would execute them. So let's just do a quick demonstration of what our extension is actually capable of doing. So if you hold up four fingers, it'll scroll down the page. If you hold up five fingers, and if it's detecting it properly, it'll scroll up the page. If you hold up three fingers, in a particular way, it'll go back a page. Two fingers, in a particular way, refreshes the page. And one finger, if you hold up one finger, it'll paint the background black and open up paint it black. So, um, by doing this, or by making our extension like this, we're able to show off that we can do a lot with, uh, have a lot of functionality if we wanted to. We're able to manipulate browser history and scroll up and down the page, all sorts of fun stuff. And so our extension is actually rather, um, I mean, other than it being fluttery sometimes, it's actually quite robust. We can see that if we, uh, if we do two fingers in a particular way, it won't generate a command. However, if you do it in another way, it'll end up refreshing the page. Actually, we got disconnected here. So let's demonstrate that again. Two fingers in one way, nothing. Two fingers in another way, refreshes the page. And because we're doing all of our tracking based not only on the, or all of our commands are being generated not only on the number of fingers that you have held up, but also the angle at which those fingers are held up, we can do some really fun stuff in the future if we wanted to. So as for the performance of this, uh, this algorithm, it works fairly well, as I keep saying. There is a lot of fluttering. You can see that uh, sometimes it detects false positives when it shouldn't. And that just comes from the imperfections of the picture. Uh, you also notice in the five-fingered case that it sometimes doesn't cor correctly detect the thumb. And the way that's because of the way our algorithm works. What our algorithm does is that it takes the center of mass and it calculates that it just drops. Everything below this, this center of mass, it just totally ignores. And Anything 
And so for all the points above the center of mass, it'll calculate the distance away from the center of mass. And based upon the distance and if uh, the distance of its closest neighbors, it's able to find the fingertips, or it's able to find your fingertips of, uh, of your hand. And uh, from these fingertips, we're able to figure out all sorts of things like the number of fingers that you're holding up and the angle at which they're being held up. Um, but you'll notice in a lot of cases the thumb gets cut off mainly because it's below the center point. So if we want to improve the algorithm, we need to kind of figure out a way to get around that. We also wanted to, uh, in the future, we wanted to essentially remove the glove. It would be nice if it would be if it was able to track your hand naturally. There was some uh, cool presentations during this uh, this process where some people had uh, done other ways of tracking the hand, and I think I'd like to eventually try to incorporate their algorithms into our our um, our application. But for the most part, our application worked pretty pretty well. And uh, despite the future work that we have done, or that we have to do, uh, it's pretty impressive for where it is right now.